calculate limit n tends towards infinity, the nth root of e, minus 1, over the n squared root of e, minus 1, minus n. We know that, the Taylor expansion of e to the power of x, is equal to, 1 plus x, plus x squared over 2 factorial, plus so on, plus x to the power of n over n factorial, plus so on. The nth root of e, can be written as, e to the power of 1 over n. By applying Taylor expansion, which can be written as, 1 plus 1 over n, plus 1 over n squared over 2 factorial, plus 1 over n cubed over 3 factorial, plus so on. Which can be written as, 1 plus 1 over n, plus 1 over 2 n squared, plus big O of 1 over n cubed. Big O of 1 over n cubed represents all the remaining terms. Similarly, the n squared root of e, can be written as, e to the power of 1 over n squared. By applying Taylor expansion, which can be written as, 1 plus 1 over n squared, plus 1 over n to the power of 4 over 2 factorial, plus so on. Which can be written as, 1 plus 1 over n squared, plus big O of 1 over n to the power of 4. Big O of 1 over n to the power of 4 represents all the remaining terms. Then the original limit can be written as, limit n tends towards infinity, 1 over n, plus 1 over 2 n squared, plus big O of 1 over n cubed, over 1 over n squared, plus big O of 1 over n to the power of 4, minus n. Multiply the numerator and the denominator of the fraction by n squared. The fraction becomes, n plus a half, plus big O of 1 over n, over 1 plus big O of 1 over n squared. As n tends towards infinity, both big O of 1 over n, and big O of 1 over n squared tend towards zero. So the fraction tends towards n plus a half. That is, the fraction minus n tends towards a half. That is the answer.